Welcome to a lesson on classifying differential equations. There are many types of differential equations and we classify them into different categories based on their properties. Let us go over the basic classifications. Let's begin with the distinction between ordinary and partial differential equations. Ordinary differential equations or ODEs are equations where the derivatives are taken with respect to only one variable. That is, there's only one independent variable. And below we have three examples. We have the exponential growth equation, Newton's law of cooling, and the mechanical vibrations equation. Notice in all three equations, the derivatives are taken with respect to one variable, the variable t. Partial differential equations, or PDEs, are equations that depend on partial derivatives of several variables. That is, there are several independent variables. And again, below we have three examples. We have the transport equation, the heat equation, and the wave equation in two dimensions. For the transport and heat equation, the partial derivatives are taken with respect to two variables, the variables t and x. And for the wave equation, the partial derivatives are taken with respect to three variables, the variables t, x, and y. If there are several equations working together, or more than one, we have a system of differential equations. For example, y prime equals x and x prime equals y is a simple system of ordinary differential equations. Maxwell's equations for electromagnetics, shown below, are a system of partial differential equations. Recall from Calc 3, the divergence operator and the curl operator can be written out in partial derivatives of functions involved in the x, y, and z variables. And now let's discuss the order of the differential equation or system. The order is simply the order of the largest derivative that appears. If the highest derivative that appears is the first derivative, the equation is of first order. If the highest derivative that appears is the second derivative, then the equation is of second order. For example, Newton's law of cooling above is of first order because it only involves the first derivative. While the mechanical vibrations equation is a second order equation because the highest derivative is the second derivative. The equation governing the transversal vibration in a beam, shown below, is a fourth order partial differential equation. It is fourth order as at least one derivative is the fourth partial derivative. It does not matter that the derivative with respect to t is only of second order. The equation is still classified as fourth order. We also distinguish how dependent variables appear in the equation or system. In particular, we say an equation is linear if the dependent variable or variables and their derivatives appear linearly. That is, only as first powers. They are not multiplied together and no other functions of the dependent variables appear. In other words, the equation is the sum of terms where each term is some function of the independent variables or some function of the independent variables multiplied by a dependent variable or its derivative. Otherwise, the equation is called nonlinear. For example, an ordinary differential equation is linear if it can be written in the form shown below. Notice the equation is the sum of terms where each term is some function of the independent variable x or some function of x multiplied by the dependent variable y or its derivative. You may want to pause the video and study this form. The functions a sub zero through a sub n are called the coefficients and the equation is allowed to depend arbitrarily on the independent variable. So the differential equation shown below, equation three, is still a linear equation as y and its derivatives only appear linearly, meaning raised to the first power. All the equations and systems above as examples are linear. It may not be immediately obvious for Maxwell's equations unless we write out the divergence and curl in terms of partial derivatives. Let's see some nonlinear equations. For example, Berger's equation, shown below, is a nonlinear second order partial differential equation. It is nonlinear because y and the partial y with respect to x are being multiplied together. The equation dx dt equals x squared is a nonlinear first order differential equation as there is a second power of the dependent variable x. Because we have dx dt in the equation, we know x is the dependent variable and t is the dependent variable. So because of the x squared, 
we have a nonlinear first order differential equation. A linear equation may further be called homogeneous if all terms depend on the dependent variable. That is, if no term is a function of the independent variables alone. Otherwise, the equation is called non-homogeneous or non-homogeneous or inhomogeneous or inhomogeneous. A homogeneous linear ODE can be written in the form shown below. Notice no term is a function of the independent variable alone. For some examples, the exponential growth equation, wave equation, and transport equation, all shown below on the left, are homogeneous. Again, no term is a function of the independent variable or variables. You may notice for the first two equations, the right side of the equation is not equal to zero, but that doesn't matter. As long as we have a linear equation where no term is a function of the independent variables alone, we do have a homogeneous linear ODE. In contrast, the mechanical vibrations equation below is non-homogeneous as long as f of t is not the zero function. Notice here, t is the independent variable. Similarly, if the ambient temperature A is non-zero, Newton's law of cooling is also non-homogeneous. Again, a homogeneous linear ODE can always be written in the form shown here in the blue box. If we compare the form of a homogeneous linear ODE to the form of a linear ODE, notice for the homogeneous linear ODE, there is no function b of x. If the coefficients of a linear equation are actually constant functions, then the equation is said to have constant coefficients. The coefficients are the functions multiplying the dependent variable or one of its derivatives, not the function b of x standing alone. A constant coefficient non-homogeneous ODE is an equation in the form shown below, where a sub zero through a sub n are all constants, but the function b may depend on the independent variable x, which is shown here on the right. For some examples, the mechanical vibrations equation below is a constant coefficient non-homogeneous second order differential equation. The same nomenclature applies to PDEs, so the transport equation, heat equation, and wave equation, all shown below are examples of constant coefficient linear partial differential equations. And then finally, an equation or system is called autonomous if the equation does not depend on the independent variable. For autonomous ordinary differential equations, the independent variable is then thought of as time. Autonomous equation means an equation does not change with time. For example, Newton's law of cooling, again shown below, is autonomous, and so is equation four, the equation dx dt equals x squared. Notice both equations do not depend on the independent variable t. On the other hand, the mechanical vibrations equation and equation three below are not autonomous. The mechanical vibrations equation is not autonomous because it does depend on the independent variable t, and equation three is also not autonomous because it depends on the dependent variable x. I hope you found this helpful.